Welcome to Martini Monday and welcome back to my basket slash baggie of doom. Well, hi everyone and cheers. Welcome back to Martini Monday. I'm having a Cosmo today. It's not quite the way I usually like to make it. I'll link down the recipe that... What was that? Something in the kitchen. Hmm. I will link the recipe that I usually follow for my favorite way to make a Cosmo. It's actually from a website that was started by a parent of a former student of mine. I usually link the website down in most of my Martini Monday videos because as long as a drink recipe is on his website, I usually try to follow his way of doing things because his drinks always come out really, really amazingly well. They're never too sweet. They are, however, quite strong. So just be aware of that. Cosmos usually Keaton who created the website uses a combo of regular vodka and citron vodka and I didn't have any citron vodka so this is just regular vodka. I also didn't have lime. I only had lemon. Usually I would mix the two or actually just use lime. I improvised because this is what I had so let's try it. It's pretty good. It's a little sweeter than what I normally would like, I think because the lime would normally kill some of the sweetness. It's still not bad. So this is exciting. I'm bringing back the basket of doom. I've been promising to bring back the basket of doom and I keep stalling due to time, due to other videos. I really wanted to finish my 12 days of declutters. That was kind of the priority for quite a while. And to be honest today, I'm cheating a little bit because I did pull out a bunch of items for like a winter basket of doom, which is what I decided to do this year is do it seasonally as opposed to monthly because it's just too many videos for me to film. You guys know I'm not the most regular here on YouTube. I really do try but with my schedule it's not that I don't even have time to film. I don't have enough time to edit quickly enough and I am very slow editor. Editor. <laughs> ha! Even saying that out loud as a word mm, that didn't make sense. That no, I, I am no editor by any means a stretch of the imagination. So because of that, <laughs> it really does take me quite a few days to get through a single video post filming it. So I decided that any series that I want to do, I'm just not going to put pressure on myself to do it monthly, but I still want to do it. So what I did was I pulled out some products. It wasn't a lot. And by the time I wanted to film it, over a month had passed. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to come back back with like a basket of doom update for the winter and then next week I'm gonna film my spring one because I already have some ideas for what I want to put into my spring basket of doom and with the spring one I'll start it back up properly where I do a video first showing you guys the products that I'm selecting for that season for my basket of doom and then obviously at the end of that two or three months period I'll come back and actually let you know what I think of all those products and which ones are sticking around and which ones are gonna be doomed out of here. I hope that you guys don't mind that I'm doing this in a slightly new format, but I did want to bring back the basket of doom in some sort of a style. And I do actually have two baskets under my desk, but I've been keeping all the products in here and it was convenient and hopefully you'll forgive me and I will try to remember in the future to dump everything out into an actual basket. But for every day, let's face it, this, this just makes a lot more sense. Before I show you what's in the baggie, if you are new to my channel, then hi and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty, but I'm on a mission to use more of the products that are already in my collection throughout 2024. A lot of the products that I have purchased over the past couple of years, I never even got around to using yet. So I have a ton of new makeup to explore right here in my very own New York City studio apartment. So um, yeah, if you're interested in content, where we talk a lot about what I already have in my house. We sprinkle that in with talking about new products here and there that come into my life. And overall, we just really love to chit chat about makeup and on Mondays, occasionally about a cocktail. Then I hope that you will consider subscribing and joining us here. And without further ado, let's jump in and show you guys what I've been using for my January, February basket of do. So because I've been doing a bunch 
bunch of declutters over the past now over three months really i just finally finished it i filmed my last one by now several weeks ago it just again took me a while to finish editing and put everything up but i would mention throughout my declutters that there definitely were quite a few products i was keeping but with the intention of putting them into my basket of doom so most of these i want to say are those products maybe there's been one or two that i have thrown in a little extra there's definitely also a few products that i haven't even gotten around yet to testing but we're going to talk about what i have tested and what i haven't and usually what happens is if i haven't tested something either it will roll into the next basket of doom or i will put it aside and wait for another time all right i did not pull out a primer i will probably try to throw one in to the upcoming basket of doom and that was because i was still futzing around with how I was gonna make a project pan and a basket of doom and me wanting to use other things in my collection. Uh, you know, how, how I was gonna swing all that. So I did not pull in a primer because I'm working through the ones I have in my project pan. However, I did put in two foundation type products and I used both of them. Not enough, I do have to say, but let me give you my thoughts. Okay. So I pulled in the Huda Beauty Glowish, which I have in Fair, 01 Fair. And I also pulled in the Maison Multifunctioning Formula Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream with SPF 50. But the SPF is expiring, or has it expired? It just expired like a month ago. And I think that is why actually I put it into the Basket of Doom, hoping I'd get a little bit more use out of this product. The first time I used this, was well, the first several times I used this back when I got this a couple of years ago, I didn't feel like it was quite moisturizing enough for me. So that was the other reason I wasn't sure. I have a feeling if I reached for this product more in the summer, I would have enjoyed it. But by now it's too late because if I'm going to reach for an SPF 50 in the summer, you best believe part of the appeal is going to be the SPF. And clearly that's no longer on the table. So I'm going to declutter this. The glowish I'm going to keep and try it again in the summer. I'm actually wearing it today and I tried it I think one or two other times. My problem with it, and I'm hoping that in the summer when I'm a little bit more normal combo as opposed to dry, I'm hoping it's not, the shininess of this product is not gonna accentuate every, <sighs> This product is so weird on my skin because it doesn't really moisturize. It just accentuates the imperfections more than anything else. So, but I like the glow. I just don't like the fact that that glow also then brings out all the imperfections to the forefront and ends up settling in all my lines. And I don't know, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but I kind of have a hunch that maybe I would like this a little bit more in the summer because it doesn't give me a lot of coverage, which is something I prefer more in in the summer and I want I, I'm just curious if maybe this would be like a very easy quick product for me in the summertime I can of course set the places where it does settle like all of my fine lines which are much deeper you know I feel like this past year I've noticed a huge change in my skin not for the better unfortunately a lot more lines and things are popping up here and there so because of that also products are applying differently or set differently and I'm not used to it yet so it really really freaks me out to be honest but you know it is what it is I'm learning I'm I'm growing with my skin I don't know I'm just not quite ready to part with this I want to see if maybe I bring this back into a summer basket of doom how we're gonna get on then if you have this give me thoughts Am I making a mistake? Do you guys also not enjoy this or do you enjoy it? And in that case, tell me why and how do you use it? For concealer, I didn't pull one in because I was planning on decluttering it. It wasn't necessarily that it was on the chopping block. It was just something I really wanted to try finally more. And that was the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum because I haven't had this for very long. So I figured, you know, if I put this in here, maybe it'll encourage me to use it more often. And it did, not as often as I should have used it, but I definitely did get to use it a few times. I'm wearing it today. It definitely does crease on me, so it is one I absolutely have to set, but I I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't love it, but I don't mind it. So I will keep it in my collection and see if there's other ways I can still use it, make it even better, maybe set it with different powders, maybe try to apply it with a brush as opposed to a beauty sponge, which is how I do my makeup most of the time, just because it's faster and easier. For now, this gets to stay. For powder, the one 
one. I, I, I went on the whole glowish binge for this. The only thing I didn't pull in, which I probably should have, is one of the blushes. But I did pull in the glowish powder, which is the luminous pressed powder. I have this in 01 Fair as well. And I know a lot of people really didn't like this powder. I don't hate it. I don't love it, though, as I'm looking closer. And that's the thing. Maybe what I need to do is I need to keep this in my next basket of doom and try this with other foundation products because I don't know now which one is accentuate because I've been using them together so I don't know if the glow that is accentuating all of my imperfections is this or if it's this that's the other thing that I wasn't very smart about I would always pair these together and I think I need to separate them and figure out which of these two products is causing me some unsettling situations up here this is quite possible one you guys are going to see next week in my introduction to the spring basket of dew. Since I'm on the topic of glowish, I also pulled in the bronzer. This is in 01 Light, the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And this one I do like. I think I'm going to like it even more in the summer because it is a little bit more of, it like pulls a little more red and a little deep on me than what I prefer in the winter. I don't tan a lot. And by that, I mean, I don't tan at all, but like my skin just from daily being out and about, I just don't get a tan very easily. So I stay pretty pale all year round, but I get like a teensy, weensy bit darker in the summer. So I think this is going to be better for the summer, but I definitely like it enough to keep it for right, now. It's for blushes, I pulled in the Clinique Pumped Up Peony. And this is one that I think is okay. I also have this in Amped Up Apple 01. And this shade I really love. It's easy to use. It just looks so great. The reason I pulled this one in is I thought this would be a good color for the winter. And it is. It's Plumped Up Peony. I prefer more of these deeper berry colors in the winter time. I have it on my cheeks today, but with a different product that I'm going to mention in a minute. No, no. I I don't feel like it's a bad product so I don't want to just get rid of it I want to give it a little bit more time and use because you know it's I still have so much product if this left my collection I don't think I would miss it so maybe for that reason like I should just get rid of it but I don't think I'm quite ready to I think this one will get to stay for now we'll see what happens however I was really rooting for this NARS adoration dual intensity blush so it's a dual intensity blush in adoration I remember I used to really enjoy this and I pulled this in thinking this is definitely gonna stay and it's pretty don't get me wrong it's pretty I just don't know if I need this these are the two shades here they are on my skin you know what it is the blush I really liked and the highlighter once I went in with a denser brush I don't mind I just I just don't know if I need it I really don't know if I need it again it's one of those products I don't know if I'm gonna really miss it I think it's time for me to let this one go it's sad because I really loved all the dual intensity products that NARS came out with they had I don't know if they still do maybe but they used to have the single eyeshadows I have one of those and I still really love that one and then they started coming out with the cheek products but i think i can live without this it's really pretty but i don't think i'm gonna reach for it so this one's gonna go one that i didn't i used but i i don't think i used enough is this urban decay afterglow in rapture i used it in january a few times and i think i was like mm, i'm not so sure i need to use it again and then i never did so i think this needs to stay but with the intention of trying it again in the future and and really deciding what the heck I'm gonna do with it. Oh, I missed a bronzing product. This is a Laura Geller uh, Bronze and Brighten in Fair. This is another one that I think I only used once. I don't really think I was wowed by it. So I think this might come back in the spring basket of doom for me to make a final decision on because I don't wanna just frivolously let it go. It definitely needs another try. For highlighter, I brought in two pinks because it was winter time. I brought in my baked gelato swirl in charming pink and my Ofra mini highlighter in Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk I still really do love. That one is a definite keep. This one, this one I feel like I'm holding on to for nostalgia more than anything else. There it is right there, as opposed to, I didn't really swatch in a great place, but we've got the Ofra at the very edge and then the uh, Laura Geller right next to it. You could see 
hopefully that the Ofra definitely is more blingy, but it is also a little bit heavier on the skin. I still really love it though. I'm not ready to part with it. And honestly, I'm not so sure I'm ready to part with the Laura Geller either. I think I'm gonna justify keeping both of them because I did get rid of the NARS, which has yet another pinky highlighter, which technically is the most smooth of them all and the most pinky, but I like these better. What can I say? I like these better. I'm gonna keep them. I pulled in a few lip products that I didn't even get around to. I pulled in the Merit Marrakesh lip oil. So that obviously I still need to test. I did pull in these two Marc Jacobs. These were the liquid lip creams and I have them in Truth or Bear and Fawn Over Me. I really enjoyed these. These are definitely staying. I forgot about how good they are and I'm so glad that I got to rediscover them. This is a bit heartbreaking and I need to now test all the other ones. I have a four, like I had a set, a four pack of these mini Burberry, what were these called? The Liquid Lip Velvets. This one is shade number 53 in Oxblood and I brought this one in for the winter because again, I like my berries and my deeper colors in the winter time. I think these have gone off or at least this one. I can't remember if it used to have any sort of sweeter scent or just used to be unscented. This one doesn't even smell bad. I think it was when I applied it on my lips. I it has that little off taste. I think if you guys have tried on lipstick products that have gone off, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And unfortunately, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to let these go. The other three colors that I have, and I'm gonna need to test them, Magenta number 33, which I usually loved in the summer, Regiment Red number 37, and Fawn Rose number nine, which is a beautiful nude. It's quite possible all four of these are gonna go, I don't want to just toss them without trying the other ones, but this one is unfortunately going to have to get decluttered. A product that I just tried today, I did put a different gloss over it, but it's this Clinique Chubby Stick, the Moisturizing Lip Color Balm, and I have it in Super Strawberry. In my declutter, I got rid of almost all of these. I think I had at some point maybe like 10 of these. I got a whole set from a student a few years back, and then I kept just a few, and this past declutter, I narrowed it down even more. It's not a bad product. It's a lovely product. It's just not a wow product. And I think considering how much I have, I think I'm, it's going to get lost in the shuffle. I think I'm going to forget about it. While it has very little product and it would be kind of fun and cool to use it up because I don't think it would take that long because it's not like it rolls up or anything. I think this is it. This little, little itty bitty thing is it. So in some ways, this would be like a fantastic product to put into a project pan and like use nonstop for a month and get it done. Done. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to rotate through everything else that I have. Is that bad of me? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So I should use it and not waste. But I also know myself and I know I'm probably not going to do that. So then why is it just sitting around and taking up space, right? Please tell me I'm right. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, something I didn't do is pull in any eyeshadow palettes because again, I was working through editing my eyeshadow palette declutter. I did a February, like a Valentine's Day inspired eyeshadow palette video. So I was trying a few of those palettes and it was only just like a week or two ago that I tried an eyeshadow palette that had been sitting brand new in my collection for the first time. And I think I even mentioned in one of my videos that I wasn't yet sure about the formula and I wasn't sure if it was because the palette was old or because the formula was just never up to par to begin with. So I decided I'm going to use it again today. And even though it wasn't technically in my basket of doom. I struggled with it again. So I have a feeling that I'm just going to let it go. And that's the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. I love this color story. And no, I did not try absolutely every shade because I only created two looks so far. But I will tell you, I tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I tried 10 out of the 12 shades. So actually the only ones I didn't try are these two on the side. You would think, I not only tried this one, but like almost hit pan in it, but no, that was me digging my finger into it today by accident. So these two I have not tried. And this is a gorgeous color. That's a beautiful color. There it is right there. 
but I'm sure I have this color in a gajillion other palettes. And then this one that I didn't try is one of those that has the glitter specks in it. I don't know if it's like a matte. It's actually like a wet looking. So that actually could be the only one that maybe I should have tried because it's almost like a cream to powder with some specks in it. But the specks, honestly, once I, they looked really beautiful on my finger, but now that I applied them to my skin, I can't say that they're nearly as impressive. So I don't know, even if I loved that shade, to keep this for one shade, the ones I struggled with are all the darker colors. Specifically, the two shades that I really didn't enjoy, this bittersweet, which skipped and didn't blend nicely at all today, and then the blueberry muffin, which I used in the very first look I created with this palette. And yes, that's only two. The other ones were fine, but they weren't magnificent either. Considering two shades out of here, I'm not going to use already. And everything else, I'm sure I have another palette. I love the aesthetic of this palette. I was so excited to finally use it. I was beating on myself so hard that I still hadn't used it so many years later. I, I think I'm going to let it go. Hopefully, I will continue a declutter series every year because I love declutter videos and I think they're super fun, but I don't think I'm gonna be keeping things for the whole entire year just to create a more impressive declutter video. The whole point of these basket of dooms is to let go of things that are no longer gonna serve me, that I'm not gonna reach for, that I'm not gonna enjoy. So I'm just gonna declutter as I go. And if there's anything else left to declutter at the end of the year, great. If not, maybe I'll just do collection videos. If you guys have any feedback on that, do let me me know but that is basically what I'm leaning towards. Last product I want to talk about is actually a brush. I mentioned in my brush declutter video that there were just a few brushes I also wanted to put in my basket of dooms and test out and one of them was this Sonia Kashuk brush. This is the tools number 29 brush. I don't know if they still make this. This was a brush that years ago Tati raved about. This was her favorite blush brush for a very long time and I tried using it a couple of times and my whole face looked like I like like I'm growing hair in places I really shouldn't be growing hair. This thing sheds. I mean, I can't even describe. I already got one. There's another. There's like seven hairs sticking up. I don't know if you can see that. This thing sheds, and I've barely used this all throughout the year, so it's not like it's from washing. This is getting thrown out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was it for my basket of doom uh, more, you know, most recently. So I am getting rid of one, two, three, four, five products. I will definitely need to revisit the glowish products. I'd like to try the Laura Geller bronzer a little bit more. I need to try the Afterglow blush a little bit more. Um, and everything else for now, I'm gonna keep. And then, as I said, there was a couple of lip products, including this Merit oil that I still had in the bag that I did not get around to using. So that needs to roll into a future basket of doom. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what products you think I should try in the spring. If you watch my declutters and you're remember me talking about what I wanted to put into the basket of dooms. Maybe you have suggestions for which products you think would be spring appropriate from there because maybe I've forgotten. I will go back and rewatch those parts of the videos just to jog my memory. That's why I talked about my basket of doom in those videos because I wanted to have that as a reference for myself as well. With that, let's cheers to my first basket of doom of 2024. And I thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We're inching, inching towards that 1,000. I can't wait to do a big giveaway once that milestone finally happens. I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well, that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy, take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Cheers and bye, guys.